In this tutorial, you'll learn about UV unwrapping. UV unwrapping is a mapping method you use when conventional mapping methods no longer work. Almost anyone who's ever applied a bitmap to a 3D object has relied on simple UV mapping techniques. In 3ds Max, chances are you've already used the UV map modifier to project the bitmap onto a 3D object. You might have used it in planar mode, in cylindrical mode, or in spherical mode depending on the 3D object you are using at the time. You may even have used it in box mode which is especially useful in architectural situations. Unfortunately, in many cases, when a 3D object becomes fairly complex, none of the mentioned mapping methods can be truly useful. Even with simpler objects, Distortions can easily happen if you're not careful. Enter UV unwrapping. It may feel daunting if you've never used it before, but it really boils down to one main concept. Spread out the 3D mesh in a way that it becomes easy to paint a 2D texture on it with little or no distortion. To do that, you may encounter a barrage of fancy words like UV coordinates, unwrapping, unfolding, pelt, peel, relax, and more. These are all tools with only one sole purpose as mentioned before, and that is to spread out the layout of a 3D mesh so that it becomes easier to project the 2D image onto it. When you learn to do it properly, you'll be able to properly map and texture any 3D object you end up modeling. In 3ds Max, the tool you use for unwrapping UV coordinates is the Unwrap UVW modifier. It's quite a powerful tool that enables you to lay out your UV coordinates which are essentially referencing vertices on your 3D model. Therefore, the UVW in mapping is referencing the XYZ axes in 3D space. However, since the idea is to flatten the coordinates into a 2D layout, you usually only talk about UV coordinates. The scene you will be using in this multi-part tutorial has three models in it, aside from the ground plane. One is a building, a garage of some sort. Another one is a car. And a third is a dinosaur head, representing a logo or a symbol for the garage. The wheels on the car are separate objects, so in effect, the car is made of five components. The three main models are different in nature. One is architectural, the building. Another is technical, the car. And the third is organic, the dino head. As you'll learn later, unwrapping these models may need slightly different approaches and workflows, but with one sole purpose in mind, flattening out the UV layout to project 2D images. The models themselves are not particularly elaborate, nor inspiring. The design of the building, for example, will not win any architectural awards. However, their simplicity makes it ideal for instructional purposes. The scene is set to use the Mental Ray Rendering Engine. It is illuminated by two simple point lights that are hidden from view at this time. One of these lights is set to project an ambient occlusion shader to give the renderings a bit more depth and realism. The procedure to apply an ambient occlusion shader to light is covered in another tutorial on this channel. If you're interested in that workflow, check out the tutorial entitled Faking Global Illumination with Ambient Occlusion, AO. As always, the assets and scene files are available for you to download by following the link listed in the description of this movie. You will start with a file conveniently named uvunwrappingstart.max. The file contains the models mentioned earlier, currently with flat shaded materials applied. You will add the necessary bitmaps and process the proper unwrapping to all the models. So when you're ready, move on to the next movie where you will learn how to UV unwrap the building. 